Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to my uh, channel. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer your digital module into your LMS for online mm, na siya? For online class using LMS. Okay? So, let's start. So first you need your, of course, your school should have an LMS. Like our school, we have LMS, uh, we call the LMS as Tagum City, NHS.ph for Tagum City National High School LMS. So again, I'm, uh, I'm going to transfer these modules, hi, uh, these modules here into our LMS for online class so let's start uh, I am using the H5P application and uh, if you're new to this just go to content bank just click the content bank and then add and then find the H5P interactive content which suits to your intended uh, lesson or setup. Okay, so in my case, uh, I will use interactive book because uh, I am going to transfer the module in the uh, LMS. Okay, so I have done a uh, uh, I have already uh, made uh, a little of the a the interactive book, so I'll just uh, continue. So uh, we were on the let us study the last time uh, I am uh, doing this, so let's continue this. So uh, as you can see. This is the soft copy of the module. Then I have already transferred few of them, few few of it <laughs> in the LMS. So say for example, let us study what are electromagnetic waves. We already have that in our LMS. Yeah, let us study the what are electromagnetic waves. The image here, we have here the image. And uh, this paragraph here, all electromagnetic waves are also uh, found in our LMS. Okay. Then let's continue the next page. Also, we have also next page here. Yeah, and applications. So, uh, how did I do this? So, first you click the edit, and then. Uh, so for example, if going to copy this image here and put it in the uh, LMS, we just have to go to the, the letter study, then uh, just click the drop down menus to minimize or already finish the content and this just add new content. Okay, just click add content and choose the the kind of content you want to add say in, the, in my case it's image so I'll just click image and then add click add and then find the image that you that I uh, uh, in my case I have already saved this earlier so I just have to find this one so I think this is the image then open and then so there you go that's the image and then let's have a alternative text alternative text is used if in case the image uh, will not load so it will give you this term referring to the image that is supposed to be shown if in case it's not shown while hover text this is a uh, it will show if you if the if you or the learner will browse the image and then it will appear in the image as radio waves a text. Okay, so that's it. And 
again this is a uh, trial and error save and then view no that's how uh, the LMS is if you have edits you try to save it and then view it if it, if it is correctly uploaded if not just just go back to edits so we have here the image that we copy this one and then here so as you can see uh, there there is the image so that's very easy guys so you can do this as easy as one two three okay next next uh, again let's go back to our letter study and let's add another part of the module to our LMS again all you're going out to all you're going to do is uh, add content and examine the content <laughs> if uh, uh, yo, sige, yo. Sige, what kind sa of content is that so you just have to save it I mean copy and paste okay, so in this on. case this is a question an open-ended question so uh, mm, in the LMS it fits to the uh, essay application so let's just click essay and then uh, the media that's the the image that you want to show so pwede na wala yan and the task description you can paste here the question okay so you can uh, click uh, copy the quick check or you can have the quick check as the title and then copy the question put it in the task description that's the question is and then uh, you, you can have this uh, change if you want uh, this text should will help you search okay so we can have the put your answer here so that they will be guided and then then after that you add keywords keywords means that that's the the main word that you are uh, that you expect the learners to answer no so these are the keywords that you will you will give corresponding points so our question is what might be the cost when you sometimes hear static sound or uh, on your radio so let's just say uh, maybe interference is the word interference so you can add variations for the uh, yeah, distraction any synonymous words or similar words or synonymous words that they they might rel that they might give no so we'll have to uh, consider their answers as a student disturbance maybe and interference uh, interferences like that then let's add points to that say maybe 10 points or 5 points yeah and let's uh, deselect case sensitive so that it will accept whether it's uh, small or large or all caps okay so yeah let's try again so what we're going to do again we, we have to save and then view that's the protocol Hello, here yeah, when you're doing LMS save and view <laughs> Okay, and let's wait because our internet is very slow so slow so so slow yeah.
Okay, uh, still loading. So, babati mo na tayo. Let's greet. Uh. So, I'd like to greet my subscribers, guys. If you like this video, just comment in the suggestion box. I mean, comment box. Hit the notification bell and share this video for to for your uh, colleagues to to view this. No, maybe it will help them. If not, don't share this. Okay. Okay. Let's co continue. It's not yet loading, so uh, let's have uh, just have to. Okay. Yeah, na. So we have this. Again, go back to read. So uh, we are on the let us study part, and uh, we have this already. Examined a while ago, and we are in this portion. So we have the question here. Yan. What might be the cause of pwede sila mag-answer? They can answer here. Put your answer here. So they will answer. Say for example, I will answer interference. Interference. And check. Okay, so I think this is correct already. It's functioning very well. So let's go back to edit. And let's just... Uh, Let's just add uh, some uh, details on the question. Maybe the quick quick check term para they they ma they will the the learner will be prompted of the question. So let's uh, quick quiz. Okay, so let's use this term here and put it like this one just uh, below. Yeah. Yeah, and quick check then bold letters and then space above and below so that the, the text uh, to give some space for the text uh, breathing again I, I call it breathing space so that it will not be uh, look like congested in the LMS Okay, so look at that. It's uh, I think it's it's I think it's good already. So that's it, guys. That's how we integrate quiz in the interactive book. So uh, if you have comments, questions, and suggestions, guys, just uh, comment in the chat box or PM me if you want. Uh, we don't uh, uh, no no PM uh, just uh, <laughs> just uh, comment in the chat box okay thanks guys and uh, that's it for today and uh, let's have another video on LMS tutorial in the next uh, someday okay Bye, guys. <laughs>